The UN Secretary General Special Envoy for Syria, Gear Pedersen, visited Damascus on Wednesday as part of his ongoing engagement with the Syrian authorities to promote the political process aimed at overcoming the crisis in Syria. Our correspondent Hisham Wanus with the details. Pedersen's visit to Damascus is the second in two months, and it is aimed at preparing the ground for relaunching the work of the Syrian Constitution Discussion Committee in Geneva. The United Nations envoy discussed the issue with Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal al maghdad and explained the results of his tours and meetings during the last period to push for a political solution to the crisis in Syria. There is a real threat of a possible new military escalation in the country, and the extension of the current situation does not benefit anyone. Therefore, we urge all parties in Syria to de-escalate and work for relative calm in Syria. And this, I believe, is an important message that Syria does not need more war, but needs peace and political process to achieve it. Damascus, in addition to ratifying its support for Pedersen's efforts, expressed its interest in reaching a political solution to the conflict, a solution that Syrian authorities announced clashes with the refusal of Washington and its allies who, through their interfering policies, prevent the achievement of peace in Syria. The Syrian people are currently suffering a severe economic crisis and need an urgent political solution that will help improve the living conditions of the people and put an end to this suffering resulting from the war and the blockade. Syrians hope that the United Nations and the management of a special envoy will succeed in pushing forward the political management, especially the work of the Constitution Discussion Committee. The special envoy always talks about challenges facing the Syrian people and political processes and provides figures in this regard but without mentioning the causes behind the suffering and without condemning the parties that make our people suffer through their unjust, coercive measures. During this visit, Pedersen limited his words to considering unacceptable that there are currently 15 million Syrians in need of humanitarian and food aid. In order to overcome this reality, the illegal foreign military presence on Syrian soil must end, as well as the relentless support of Washington and its allies to terrorist gangs. Likewise, the United States plundering of oil and agricultural crops of the Syrian people has to stop. Damascus also denounces the unilateral coercive measures imposed on Syria must be lifted, which not only make the Syrian people suffer, but also hinder the political management sponsored by the United Nations to overcome the crisis, according to Damascus's denounce.